Okay, factorize means put it into brackets. So looking at the first one, um, there's a t I can divide out of both of them. So I put t on the outside of the bracket, but there's no number because seven and five um, don't have anything that goes into both of them. So I think, what do I times t by to get to seven t squared? Well, it's going to be seven t. And what do I times t by to get to five t? Well, it's just going to be five. You can check your answer by expanding the bracket to check you, it makes 7t squared plus 5t, which it does. Next one, um, w is only in the first term, so I can't divide out the w, but there's a number I can divide out of both of those. Now, I could pick 2, but actually 4 is a better number because it says factorize fully, which means I need to take out or divide out the 4 rather than just the 2. So 4 on the outside. What do I times 4 by to get to 12w or 3w? What do I times 4 by to get to minus 8? It's going to be minus 2. And again, I can expand that to check it. Right, the last one, there's a number and a letter. So I'm thinking the number of 16 and 24 would be 8, and the letter would be A. Okay, so there's two things that we're dividing out this time. So I'm going to have 8A on the outside. So I think figure out what do I times 8 by to get to 24? Well, that's 3. And what do I times A by to get to A squared? Well, that's going to be A. What do I times 8 by to get to 16? 2. And what do I times, uh, well, 2 by to get to 16a? So I'm just going to leave it because the a will is on the outside of the bracket. So 8a times 2 is 16a, so I don't need an a there. 